Hey guys, it's Jackie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my college backpack video. I am so excited to be doing this. Back to school season is upon us. It's a great time. I just did a back to school supplies haul video where I show all the school supplies that I got. So a bunch of those things are going to be in my backpack. But if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. And I love this time of year. I'm so excited to be going back to campus in the fall. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to be a junior at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. Tennessee and we are going to be having some in-person classes in the fall so I will be back on campus so I will actually be using this backpack which is exciting but if you are interested I will soon be making more videos about college college advice things I wish I knew I'm gonna be doing a move-in vlog when I go to campus in a couple weeks fun stuff coming up so if you're interested in that click subscribe and let's get started so this is my backpack this is the same one I had last year I really don't need to get a new one this year because I'm not going to be using it that frequently it is a Herschel backpack. It's this nice kind of like tan color, which I like. Goes with a lot of stuff. But you know, I used to use like a North Face backpack because I'm from the Northeast originally. So a lot of people use those backpacks at school, which is kind of like a rude awakening when I came to college and everybody made fun of me for it. So yeah, but I do go to school in the South. So it's just like a different backpack culture. <laughs> Who knew there were backpack cultures? But anyways, this backpack is super nice because it's lightweight. So unlike the North Face, there's no like added weight just from the backpack material itself. It has a front pocket, a bigger front pocket, which has like places for pencils and pens and stuff, a pocket on top here, and then a big section in the back, which also has a slot for my computer. So that's really nice. And then the back has these padded straps so it's comfortable on my back and my shoulders. Also another major thing about this backpack and one of the reasons I got it is that it's waterproof. In Nashville it tends to rain a lot unexpectedly so I guess we'll just start off in the front pouch. I try to keep this section relatively clear or um, not stuffed, empty. Empty. I try to keep this section relatively empty because this is where I end up always putting like all my random stuff It's really easy to like end up having a ton of stuff in the front pocket because you just always stuff whatever you're holding in there But in here I have my keys and my mini wallet. So this isn't like my full-size wallet This is more just like the stuff that I need on a day-to-day -day basis The keys are where I keep the keys to my room or my apartment And then I also have some other random like keychains on here I have the key to my dad's apartment in New York and I have my like passes for the dance studios I go to and that kind of thing but my keychain is this cute little Vanderbilt one. One of my favorite teachers in high school gave this to me as a graduation gift and I still use it because it, I like it a lot. So, okay. And then my wallet is this one that I got on Amazon. It's really like the perfect portable mini wallet because it has this chain that I can put onto my keychain if I wanted to keep it all together or I could just put my keys directly on here. It has spaces for any cards that I have and then I keep my Vanderbilt student ID right here which I can just easily pull out or I also should be able to just scan it through here. And then there's a little space for cash if I ever want to keep cash with me. It's just super lightweight, super thin, has everything I need. This is really all you need to keep in your college backpack. You don't need to bring your whole wallet around with you but you should have something to carry around like your cards or cash or your student ID because you never know when you're going to need that. So that was it for that first pocket because I really end up putting a lot more stuff in there like randomly throughout the semester so I try to keep it relatively empty at the start. Okay so next is the second pocket which looks like this inside and it has some pockets for like pencils or for other stuff so I have hand sanitizing wipes. This wouldn't have been here pre-coronavirus but this is something that I will be carrying around with me in my backpack. Next is a portable charger for your phone. The one I have is Mophie. I got it for like a Christmas present about a year ago because you never know if you're going to be somewhere and there won't be an outlet near you and your phone's about to die so I always keep this with me okay this mini hairbrush this one I got at Target it's just like the wet brush brand I just feel like my hair gets like knotted up throughout the day and it's just something that's helpful to have so that I can brush my hair if my hair gets knotted up if I, it's a long day and yeah Anyways, but yeah, I don't know how people don't like carry hairbrushes with them in their bags. I haven't heard this as one of the main items that people bring with them, but for me, like, I just feel like my hair gets tangled throughout the day and it makes such a big difference. So this is like an essential for me personally. Okay, in here I have my blue light glasses. So in college, you do a lot of staring at computer screens, phone screens, everything. By the time you come home from classes after a long day, like sometimes you have a pretty bad headache from staring at screens the whole day. So these I got on Amazon. They work well, they're good. 
good, but this is just something that I like to carry around with me and especially use when I'm staring at my computer. Next, I have a spare hair tie. More essential than you think. This is a mini aquaphor for your lips. I just get chaplets throughout the day and I don't like using regular chapstick brands because I've heard that they actually make your lips drier and they only do that so that you have to buy more chapstick, but really it's not helping your lips. So anyways, this is what I use. I trust aquaphor and it works. And this little mini one is perfect for your backpack. So yeah. Okay, next, pepper spray. I don't carry this around with me on a normal day to classes like during the daytime, but when you're involved in extracurriculars or if you're somewhere at night or coming back late from dinner and you're by yourself, especially if you're a girl, this is a good item to have. You never know, even if you're on a campus that's isolated, when you might need it. And it's so small and easy to carry around. This one is pink. I got it on Amazon, it's super cute. You don't need to make it a big deal and be like, oh, I pepper spray. Just like have it with you just in case and it makes you feel a lot safer too when you're walking around at night. So this is more of a night item, but I mean, think about it, you know? I don't know. Next, a little pack of tissues, self-explanatory. Need to sneeze, need to cry, need to wipe something off. Just a good item to have. I guess if you have wipes, you might not need these as much just to save space. This one's just a mini pack that I got from the Vanderbilt Career Center, so. And then the last item in this front pouch is a pack of gum, just a necessity anyways. Okay, so that is it for that pocket. Moving in to this little front pouch, this is actually supposed to be for your glasses. It has like this like felt material inside or fuzziness. I just keep my glasses in a glasses case inside my backpack and use this for other stuff. So this pocket is kind of my like easy access pocket. I put stuff in here that like I'm gonna be reaching for and needing to grab quickly. Like I put my phone in here during class. I have my AirPods in it. Definitely a necessity to have earbuds or headphones with you when you're walking around campus. Like yeah, for sure. My mask. Bring your mask with you. That way if you accidentally forget it in your room, you'd have it. So just always have an extra around or just one to wear to class. And then also hand sanitizer. This one I got at Bath and Body Works. The flavor I like. <laughs> The flavor, it's so delicious. The scent that I like is Black Cherry Merlot. Sounds interesting, right? It just, it smells classy, you know? You know when some people put on hand sanitizer and everyone's like, who put on hand sanitizer? This one's like, you don't know it's hand sanitizer. It just smells good. So this ended up, I guess, kind of being more of my like Corona section, um, but it's just stuff that you like might need easy access for, you know? And finally going into the big pocket. This big pocket is so cute. I love how Herschel has the like stripe material on the inside. It's just really cute and kind of like classic, you know? And then it has this computer pouch here. So I'll start with that. The first thing that I have in here is my computer, which I just have a case on and just you'll need your computer anywhere you go even if you don't think you're gonna use your computer when you go to class you will need your computer always want to keep your computer with you in your backpack okay next is my notebook so this item and a few of these items that are in my backpack right now were in my school supplies haul in my last video so if you watched that you already have seen these but this is a toll notebook so the reason that I use this one is because you can easily take out paper and put it back in and section it by class so the key is here you're not having to bring with you like three to five notebooks during a day where you're going between classes because you'll need one and it's divided by class and you can keep it organized so your backpack doesn't get super heavy. I feel like my policy with my backpack is to minimize the amount of school supplies that I have to bring with me to class because those are the things that are most heavy that make your back hurt at the end of the day. So I always like to just have one notebook with me and it's for all my classes so I never have to worry about bringing more than one notebook because those are the things that are like really heavy. Next are these folders. So I just will bring with me the folders for the classes that I'm going to that day. So here are just two folders that I got at Target. They're really cute, they're perfect, they're light. That's all you need. This is my planner. So I definitely bring my planner with me when I go to my classes because if a professor changes the due date of something, you wanna change it right away in your planner so that you don't forget. Also, if you're needing to plan like meetings for group projects or figure out when you're gonna need to start working on something, if they mention a project that's due or something like that, it's just really easy to see like when all your due dates are, what your schedule is, everything like that. So I am bougie with my planner. I have an Erin Contran planner because I love planning things out and stuff. I'm a nerd like that. Mine is a little bit on the thicker side, but when you have a th thick planner, I need to stop. It just has like a lot of different things in it and uses. Um, so I love this planner and it has stickers in the back that you can put into the calendars. So it just stay super organized and it's really colorful and fun. It's just like a way to make you feel like you have your life together when you actually don't and to feel good about it because it's colorful. That's 
that's all. Next is my water bottle. This is the water bottle I use. This water bottle actually gives me a lot of clout at school. Because it's cool, like, you know. The brand is K, I guess is how you pronounce it, Q-U-E. And what's cool about these is that they're like a silicon material. So they're super lightweight and like stretchy. But the key thing that I look for in water bottles, honestly, is that they're light because- I know hydro flasks are all the rage, I know. But the thing about hydro flasks is that they're super heavy. Even if you don't have water in it, your backpack is gonna be like 10 times heavier because of it. Like, you know how I was like, oh, notebooks are the heaviest thing? Like, no, your hydro flask is the heaviest thing in your backpack. If you have a hydro flask in your backpack, I don't wanna hear you complain about your back pains because you did it to yourself with your hydro flasks. But then when you put water into them, it's like they're even heavier. So that's why I always see people carrying around their hydro flask just like in their hand, you know? Like they're not even trying to rub it in. They just like are holding it because they can't put it on their back. But anyway, these are super lightweight. Like, look, look at this. I'm like juggling it right now. It's so lightweight. <laughs> The even cooler thing is that once you finish your water, you can make it smaller. Isn't that cool? So it's super small then and compact in your backpack when you're done with your water. And you can always do this so that it takes up less space and it's super easy to wash in your dorm room, which is another thing. I love the water bottles that have the little straws on them, like that they're like kind of like a sippy cup. Like those are my favorite kind of water bottles. But the fact of the matter is that in college, it's so hard to clean those if you don't have a dishwasher. It just gets gross. But these are so easy. You just put some soap in it, put some water, mix it up, clean it out, you're done. Okay, next is my pencil case. This is another thing that was in my school supply haul. I got this fuzzy one from Target. It's so cute. Though I had a lot of different utensils in my school supplies haul that I would use more like when I'm doing homework in my dorm, these are the things that I would need to bring to class. Let's open it up. So basically I just keep with me a bunch of different pens. These are all my pens. I got these eco-friendly ones from Target. A pencil, one pencil is all you need. Highlighters. And then finally I have this eraser so that I can fully erase things in class. And that's all I need for my pencil case. I don't like to overdo it with my pencil case because you just don't want to add more stuff to your backpack than you need, you know? Says the girl who's like bringing pepper spray with me, okay. And then these are my favorite pens. They're just great to use when you're making study guides or labeling things or taking notes and just kind of add a little more like fun and color to your, your academic life. Next are my glasses. Sometimes I wear contacts, but usually I don't. <sighs> I'm extremely nearsighted, so I'm like blind far away. And the thing is that I don't like wearing contacts the whole day because it hurts my eyes after I wear contacts for a while, if I'm being honest. And also when I'm looking at my computer screen up close, which I don't need glasses for, but I'm wearing my contacts for far away, but I'm looking up close at my computer, then it hurts my eyes and it gives me a headache. So I don't like that. So I usually just bring glasses with me and I put them on in class whenever we're actually like watching the lectures. And then when people wave at me on campus and they don't know that I can't see them, it's just awkward because I'm just like, Oh, hey, what's up? Like, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> because I don't know it's them until they're like five feet away from me, or I'll assume it's them farther away and then it won't actually be them. Then I'll be waving at random strangers. And that's just me, that's my life. Anyways, getting close to the end, I bring my calculator with me to some of my classes, it just depends. And then the final item is my computer charger. So important, important thing to note. At the beginning of college, I didn't really think that I needed to bring my computer charger around with me because you're like, okay, if I have a few classes, each class is like an hour it's like three hours like I'm really not gonna need to carry this with me you never know when your computer is going to die faster than normal or when you're going to need to stay out longer and not return to your dorm as soon as you expected and when that happens you are screwed if you do not have a computer charger so this item is worth the weight in your backpack even if you are almost positive you're not gonna need it the amount of times that I've had to text my friends and literally make them grab their computer charger or mine in our dorm and like bring it with them to meet me somewhere because I'm really far away on campus and stuff and like I have a class in 10 minutes, so I can't go back and get it myself. Like, it's just a pain. Like, just bring your computer charger with you in your backpack, no matter what. Well, that is it. That is everything that's in my college backpack. I hope this was helpful, informative, or just got you excited for college. If you'd like to see more videos about my life in college and on campus, make sure to click subscribe and turn on the notifications. And if you'd like, you can check me out on Instagram. My Instagram is Jackie Rhodes. I also always answer my direct messages if you ever need advice about college or just want to ask questions about YouTube or anything. So feel free and comfortable to talk to me there and if you got to this point in the video comment below what your favorite item in my backpack is so not necessarily the most essential item but maybe something that you didn't expect that you need but now you feel like you do need or just something you liked well thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time